next concept and that concept is uh, dns domain name system okay uh, this particular concept is very important you can you may expect this in the exam as well okay domain name system dns so let's start with the dns okay first of all what is dns we'll see what is dns the full form is domain name system but what exactly is this okay right so um I'll give you an example now, okay? See, um, uh, uh, we know few, uh, okay, we, we visit few websites, right? So, we access internet wherein we uh, uh, wish to visit various websites. Uh, so, in order to visit any website, basically, what you need to know, the basic thing, very basic thing, what you need to know about the website, it is its address right it is its website address for example if i have to visit a yahoo website what do i need to know at least i need to know the word yahoo or at least i need to know the website address what is the website address the website address will be something like this www.yahoo.com this is the website address and this we need to know right so in the network terms we call this particular address as host name host name right so rather than calling this as the website address website address is a common language I mean common term what uh, we uh, tell right but network term is host name right so at least this host name one should be knowing so whether this host name that is yahoo.com is rememberable of course we can remember everybody can remember this right okay if i want to visit google what do i know what, what do i do there basically i have to know at least google.com as a website address yeah right similarly any other mailing sites also you take gmail so i need to know at least gmail.com as a host name that at least i should remember and uh, uh, I, I don't think remembering all these host names would be difficult for any human right yes so now for our system uh whether it's enough if we give host name in order to visit any website yes that's what we all do right so okay we will just see so what is it basically if i want to visit this particular yahoo.com what do i do i open the browser on the address bar in the address bar i just type yahoo.com and the moment i press enter my browser will redirect me to the particular home page of this yahoo.com yes or no that is a uh, thing uh, that's the thing what is happening so we expect the home page of yahoo.com and who does that browser gives me this home page right so from where the browser gets the home page of yahoo.com so the browser basically tries to contact the remote yahoo server so this yahoo.com the web page related to yahoo.com will be residing in the remote server which is belonging to yahoo right so yahoo server will be contacted from where the yahoo home page will be extracted and then the browser will give you the home page of yahoo.com in your system so here you act as a client and the remote yahoo server access the yahoo system acts as a server remote system which is belonging to yahoo acts as a server and who is the agent in between browser is the agent here right but actually what is happening internally there is it enough for the system if you give host name as an input? See, we as a user, we give yahoo.com as a host name. We present the host name that is yahoo.com as an input. But do you think this input is enough for extracting the home page or for contacting the server belonging to yahoo there? No, it is not enough. So for the browser to redirect, for the browser to reach the remote Yahoo server, your host name is not enough. So what are we supposed to do here?
so your host name is not enough so what exactly we do over here is we need the ip address of this yahoo.com correct so we need the ip address of yahoo.com so we as a user are we bothered about the ip address of yahoo server there we we cannot remember practically right it is not just the yahoo server we are trying to contact we may require several other servers which we may need to contact right say for example if i want to access google I may have to contact Google server but can I remember the IP address of Google or do I bother about the IP address no as a user I don't bother similarly Yahoo or any mailing servers any websites you take basically it's not possible for any user to remember the IP address of various servers right but for our system for our browser to contact Yahoo server browser compulsorily needs the IP address of of any server it may be yahoo server or google server or any gmail server or any mailing server okay so how or from where the browser will get the ip address of remote server that is the question so basically for a browser to obtain the ip address of yahoo server or any mailing server or any server this dns plays a very important role this dns is the one which helps our browser which helps our client system to collect the IP address of remote server to take the uh, to extract the IP address first and that IP address once it is known to our web browser at the client system our browser will easily contact the remote server maybe it is Yahoo server or Gmail server or Google server or any server with the help of this IP address once it obtains who is going to obtain who is going to give this IP address for our browser it is our DNS it is our DNS DNS you can call it it as a protocol also it is our protocol dns which will give us the uh, ip address in our client system so once the ip address is obtained then our browser will easily contact the remote server and obtain the web page related to the website which we are trying to visit okay so this dns the main functionality of dns is what giving the IP address but for the DNS to give you the IP address DNS requires some input from your side from user's side so what should be that input that you give as a user so we as a user as we can remember the host name of the web website or in normal terms what we call website address at least we know right so we as a user we give the input in the form of website address or we give the input in the form of host name so that host name maybe it is www.yahoo.com so this would be the input for our dns so what the dns does once it takes this as input it will convert the input yahoo.com host name it will be converted into ip address so what is the ip address format that we're using now it is 32 bit ip address format we use so this particular IP address once we get, once our browser gets through the DNS, next easily we can, our browser can contact the server and obtain the home page of Yahoo. Okay. So when I say 32-bit IP address, you all must be knowing the format of IP address, right? I'll give you just the format of IP address. Uh, IP address will have four terms in it or four uh, you can say it is a decimal dotted notation so it would be something like uh, uh, how you uh, uh, specify for example uh, one example ip address it is 192.168.101.202 so what is that we have there four terms right we can call that each term say for example first term 192 we call it as decimal dotted notation right so decimal it is in the form of decimal we can convert that into binary also so each of that so 192 is one next 168 is the second one next uh, 101 is the fourth one and 202 is a third one sorry 202 is the fourth one all separated by dots there right and each of that like 192 it may be or 168 it may be or 101 it may be or 202 each one is the uh, is in the form of a binary there right so binary when i say it's it's, it's, it's this complete address is a 32 bit address and each of them is 8 bit binary address so we have four parts in ip address and each part is actually 8 bit binary so total it became how much 32 bits ip address okay so this basic you must have studied in your data communication in the previous semester 
Hmm? Yes. Okay. Now uh, let's continue with this DNS, right? Okay. So as the name itself indicates, DNS stands for Domain Name System. I hope it is clear what DNS does. It basically converts host name into 32-bit IP address. Okay. Right. So fine. So what is the next thing now? So um, our DNS. How exactly is the DNS now? What exactly DNS does? We came to know. How exactly is this DNS uh, structure, or where exactly this DNS resides? Is it in my system client system or is it existing in the server system or somewhere else is it existing yeah yes so this dns is actually uh, a database uh, it's a protocol which actually uh, has something called as a database maintained in multiple systems right so this dns is the one where it is not in uh, uh, one particular system this dns will be running in various systems multiple systems or we can call this dns actually has is um, you know, something called as a distributed database what is database a database is a, a, a storage where you can have wide collection of data right and what data is stored in this database we will see but this database is not exactly residing in one particular system this database will be distributed it is existing in multiple systems we call those multiple systems which stores this database uh, uh, we call them as dns servers okay so what is this dns server so this the each of this server or each of the system contains the database implemented in it and this database is distributed across various dns servers so we call that as distributed database and what do you store inside this database tell me in this dns server the storage is nothing but what ip address so basically what we require from dns is the ip address of various websites various uh, web servers right so this ip address is actually stored in this database right so that is distributed database and this dns we call it as a protocol and this protocol is basically running in which layer we are talking only here about the topmost layer in the uh, ne uh, network stack so what is that topmost layer it is application layer so dns is running basically on the application layer only okay right so this is uh, address translation job happening in dns okay 